So for the first time since being provisionally suspended, Simona Halep has done a television interview talking about all the process she's been going through for the last seven months and when we can maybe expect an answer and when she can expect an answer on whether or not this provisional suspension will be a full suspension. Let's go have a look at what she had to say in the interview. So this is what she had to say. I've always been against doping as I'm a big supporter of clean sports. So at first I didn't know how to handle it. Over time I tried to stay calm and actually feel confident because I know that I am clean and I did not knowingly take anything that is prohibited. I didn't know what Roxadastat was. I'd never heard of it before. I went online a bit to find out something about it. I understood that it was a big banned substance. After a lot of work, they discovered that there was a supplement contamination and that's why the amount was low in my body. A contamination is when someone takes an approved supplement but the company that sells it makes a mistake and there was a very drop of substance that shouldn't be there. I've sent the evidence to the ITF and they denied it. The only chance for this case to be resolved is to go to court to have a hearing on my case and present all the evidence that my positive test was contaminated. She goes on to say, I really want to play again because I love this sport and I want to play again for the big titles. I've worked all my life for this. I want to be as strong as before, even more so. I firmly believe that if I work hard, I can play at the highest level again. So there you have it. That is the update on Simone Halep. She also said in that interview that she might be having a hearing in May and that it's already been cancelled twice before these hearings. And if you've been keeping up to date with the channel, we've also told you that she's supposed to have a hearing in February. She's supposed to have a hearing now. And it looks like she's going to try and have a hearing in May, but that could get changed as well. And also she said in that interview, that'll be eight months by the time that happens. And this is just to get her side of the story out there and also her, you know, evidence out there as well, because the ITF are denying her evidence as substantial evidence, which is why I think it has to go to a higher level. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think we're going to see Halep this year? Do you think she's going to come back at all this year? Or do you think this is going to be an ongoing thing that we're going to have to wait until maybe next year? We don't know how long she's suspended for. The provisional suspension, I guess, will count as part of the suspension. Sometimes that happens. So if she does get suspended for officially for a time, this last seven to eight months will count. But again, we don't know much about this and it doesn't seem like she knows that much about what's going on because she truly believes that she didn't do anything wrong and that she shouldn't be suspended right now. But let me know in the comments below. Do you think Halep is going to play it all this year? That's the latest on the Halep situation.